Okay, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. First, we have to select a new file port. Select a plane which you want to sketch here. Make it to the normal view. Go to the sketch. First, we have to draw a center line, which is most necessary for a revolve feature. After that, you have to draw a line horizontally. Then you have to select a three-point arc. Make a arc vertically. Now we are going to draw a symmetric shape of the cup. Now we have to give the dimensions as per your requirement. Give the vertical dimensions. After that we have to make a offset entities. So select a offset command and select our corresponding chain. Specify the offset distance as per your recommend. Make it reverse, then click OK. Now we have to complete the open profile by using your arc. Then we have to dim the unwanted entities at last. Dream the unwanted line segments here. Make sure our sketch is completely closed. Then click OK, exit the sketch. Go to the features. Inside the features, we have to select a revolve boss, select a center axis. Inside the selected contours, we have to select our specified sketch. Now our cup shape is created. After that, we have to select a mid plane. Then we have to draw a center axis for reference. After drawing the center axis, we have to draw a arc below the center axis. After making the arc below the center axis, we are going to project the arc in the tangential face. So go to the features. Inside the features, we have to select a curves. Inside the curve, we have to select a project curve. First, we have to select a sketch and corresponding face. Now the curve is successfully projected in tangential face. After that, you have to use a swipe cut option. Inside the swipe cut option, we have to select a circular profile with corresponding our arc. Specify the diameter of circle to make a cut. Then click OK, exit the sketch. After that, we are going to apply the circular pattern. Inside the features, we have a type circular pattern. In the parameter, we have to select the outer circle. And then you have to specify the number of instances to be produced. Make sure it is in an equal spacing. After making a circular pattern, we have to utilize the pattern into the mirror. Just hide the unwanted curves and lines. After that, we have to select a circular pattern. Mirror the circular pattern which we created previously. Select the plane which we want to mirror about, then click OK. It may be take a few seconds to create a mirror option of circular pattern.
now the profile is completely created after that we have to select a mid plane make it to the normal view here we are going to make a cut with the multiple sections so we have to draw a profile first make the arc corresponding to the edge of the cup after making your arc we have to draw a two profiles in both end of the arcs so first exit the sketch make the arc as a focal section now we are going to create a two planes at both ends of the arc so go to the features select reference geometry where we want to create a plane select a corresponding end point to create a new plane like that we have to create a plane at another end first we have to draw a profile at one end with the corresponding plane our first profile is the point so make a point at a end of the curve then click ok after that exit the sketch we have to create a one more profile at the another end before that we have to make a another plane at the another end of the curve select the another end of the curve to create a plane then click ok we have to make another profile or select a circle we have to draw a circle at another end of the curve draw a circle and give the corresponding dimensions based upon your requirement we have a two profiles now one is point another is circle after creating a circle and a point with the corresponding dimensions just exit the sketch after that now just click ok exit the sketch go to the features inside the features we have to select here loft to boss cut make sure you have to hide the unwanted planes here for a good visible now we are going to use a loft cut so select a loft cut first we have to select a circle profile then we have to select a point as a profile if point is not selected simply you have to drag the design library or a model tree just you have to draw a design tree here you have select a corresponding point which we drawn in a sketch now the both profile is selected here one is a circle another is a point just click ok now the cut is successfully created just hide the noted sketches Now we have to make a pattern of the cut. So select a circular pattern. First we have to select a parameter as here below circle. After that we have to select a loft cut to be indeed is to be pattern here. we have to select a number of instances to be produced and equal spacing after that we have to select a mid plane to draw the handle of the cup first we have to create a curve of the handle by using a lines and arc
we have to draw the spline in between the two lines for achieve the shape of the handle after that you can drag the datum points to flexible shape of the spline then we have to add the fillet at the sharp corners After adding the fillet at all shop corners, you have to just click OK. Then exit the sketch, go to the futures. Inside the futures, we have to select a swift to boss. Inside the swift boss, we have to select a circular profile. We have to give a corresponding diameter of a circle for your handle. Now we have created a cup shape successfully here. Then we have to apply the color for a good aesthetic look. So just right click on the component and select the appearances. We have to select a corresponding color which we want to apply here. Then click OK. Make sure the edges are visible. To get the regular updates of my video, please subscribe in my channel. Don't forget to like and share.